Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and welcome to another Lightmatica tutorial. Today I'm answering the most frequently asked question on my channel, I can't find my schematics folder. Or a close second, I put a schematic in the folder but it doesn't show up in the game. Make sure Lightmatica is actually installed. To check this, press the M key M for mic, that should open the Lightmatica config menu. If nothing happens, you may have a key binding conflict. In that case, install the mod menu mod. Once installed, press escape and then click on mods and then just scroll through the list and just make sure that you see Light Massacre. If it's not there, then go watch the first video in the series where I walk you through installing it. Now, assuming Light Massacre is installed, the most common reason schematics don't show up is because you're using a mod launcher like Modrinth or CurseForge. These launchers store your Mi Minecraft files, including the schematics folder, in a different location than default. So what we're going to do here is hit the escape key. We're going to click on options. We're going to click on resource packs, and then we're going to click on open pack folder. This will open a Windows Explorer window where your game instance is based. Now up here, all you need to do is click one folder to the left. For me, that is .minecraft. That may be different for you, or you can click the up arrow button. And there we go. You should have your schematics folder. If we double click on it, I've got one light mask in there, my Darth Vader light mask. And what we're going to do now is go back to the game. We're going to click escape, escape, escape all the way to the back and click M for mic. And if I do load schematics, you'll see that very one schematic is showing up there. And for 99% of you, that will be you done. A small percentage of you may have changed the, the folder where you place your schematics in the config menu and then forgot about it. From here, click configuration menu, make sure you're in generic, type in directory. And here, if this has been changed to true, then what it'll do is repoint your schematics to whatever the hell you have typed in this custom schematic base directory. Now, normally I have this enabled because I use my OneDrive storage to do that. And all I'm going to do is escape out of here and then just go back in with M for mic, load schematics. Now you'll notice that hasn't changed, but that has. Just click the up to parent directory and that will refresh the whole thing. So that might be the two reasons why you can't find your schematics file or why the schematics that you place in the schematics folder don't appear in the game and hopefully that's fixed it for you. If this video has been useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And for those of you that didn't know, I run a website, abfielder.com that has thousands of Lightmatics. But also, I've just relaunched my resource calculator, and this is super cool. You can now just upload any old Lightmatic file, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to pick my small storage building, and we're going to click Open. And what that's going to do is tell you all the base materials that you need to go and collect, and it'll even tell you how to craft them up. Super useful, go to my website, go to Minecraft Tools, and click on resource calculator. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.